Hello my friends, today I'm really excited to show you the brand new YouTube feature called End Screens and Annotations. And as you can see right here, you can actually subscribe to a channel or you can put up to four videos that you can send your viewers to. It's really awesome to point viewers to other videos, playlists, or channels on YouTube. You can ask for people to subscribe or you can promote your website, merchandise, or crowdfunding campaigns. So on this particular video, we just have one subscribe and one video, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. They are only gonna appear on the last five to 20 seconds of your video. Let's get started. Here we are on one of my videos, and when you go to your end screen and annotations, you're gonna see this screen. And it's pretty awesome because you can either arrange things yourself or use a template. So let's go ahead and see how it's done. The end screen again is shown on the last 5 to 20 seconds of your video. You can add up to four elements to promote your content, channel, and websites. You get to decide how you want to build your end screen. So you again, you can add up to four elements to your video, but at least one of those elements must be a video or a playlist. So for example, if you just add a subscription, you cannot do that. If you added a link to go back to your website, you cannot only add that, you must have a video. So let's go ahead and see how easy it is. I absolutely love this feature. And you can see down here in the timeline, it actually starts at the last 20 seconds of the video. And you can make it shorter if you want, but you cannot make it longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Element. And the first one I'm gonna do is go ahead and create Subscribe. So with subscribe, it automatically puts whatever image you have on your YouTube channel. And if someone clicks on it, they'll get a subscribe box, which I'll show you. So the next one I'm gonna add is a video or playlist. So you can just go to video or playlist and it's gonna give you a choice. You can do the most recent upload, best for viewer, or choose a specific video or playlist. I really like best for viewer because it's going to allow YouTube to select a video that best suits your viewer. So I'm going to select that, create element, and now you can see that it's actually on top of the subscribe button. So I can just click hold and drag that down, or I can drag it anywhere on the screen. Now here's the other super cool thing. You can use a template. Just go ahead and click on Use Template, and there's one video and one subscribe template, which will automatically arrange the elements in that order. There's one for a video subscribe and link, which is gonna automatically arrange in this order. Then you have two videos, two videos and one subscribe, and four videos. So you can see you have a lot of options here if you want YouTube to automatically arrange these for you. One thing that you want to keep in mind when you make your videos in the last 20 seconds, if you don't have any room on the screen to place your video or your other elements, that's going to make it a little more difficult. So you want to keep this in mind for your videos as you move forward. So now we can go ahead and preview this. And you can see that the subscribe, when someone hovers over, over it, they're going to get the subscribe box or they can simply just click on the video. And again, I chose a video that's going to change based on the viewer's interest. Let's go back down in the timeline here. You can actually click on these if you don't want it to show for the full last 20 seconds of the video. You can always click hold and drag it so that it's showing for less time. But I'm gonna keep it at 20 seconds. That's how long I want it to appear. So you can also show your grid, snap to element, and snap to grid. And this is great because this is the area where you can place these elements. So you can't place it outside of that area at all. And also, if you have cards, as I do in this particular video, those cards will be suppressed when you put an end screen. So once you've added all your elements, all you have to do is click on Save. All your changes are saved. Go back to Watch. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like at the end of my video. 
and here's the elements right here. So I just love the new end screen feature. It's fabulous. You can still do your end cards, but this is just so simple and you can change it up whenever you want. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that if you do have annotations already on your video, let me show you what that looks like. Cannot use annotations and, and end screen elements at the same time. If you can unpublish the annotations, go ahead and do that and create your end screen elements. If not, then you can just keep the annotations there and start using these fabulous end screen elements going forward. So again, these end screen elements, they're a lot of fun and they're super easy to do and you don't have to mess around with any images or editing in your movie editor program or anything like that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. This is Lisa Jared. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll see you next time.